Hi, I'm going to talk about how to replace one of these things. It's a crank position sensor on a BMW E36 with a M52 B25 engine. This should be the same on the 328. The sensor itself is placed down here. In order to, you can get to it without removing anything by using a very small ratchet like this one with a 5 millimeter Allen key. This, this one is quite hot so I don't really want to get too close to it. It's in here. If your sensor is not stuck at all, it's placed like this with a metal bracket, uh, an aluminium bracket uh, that's part of the engine block around this bottom edge and it sticks out in the free air on the bottom if, if you're not stuck then that's all it takes to get this out but if you need more room I suggest you take the fan and this plastic covers off the cable is rooted beneath be on the back side on this hose up here and travels in this plastic thing that's hold on with two clips to these two M6 bolts there's a channel in that plastic thing where you route the cable and on the underside of this venous unit and the venous solenoid and in under the intake inside there there's two connectors. The one third from the camera is the one to the crank position sensor and I believe the other one is to the cam position sensor that is located here. If you remove this cap and you are not too pumped, you can get your arm in there and, and replace that. It looks like this and on the on this side there's a metal spring which you push towards the camera and then you can unplug it and then it you don't have to push that to snap it in it just snaps right in and you hear a good click in order to remove the fan you need a 32 millimeter open end spanner which you put here and once it's in place you should turn this so it won't hit the venous unit once it's in place use a rubber hammer and give it a whack if you're lucky that will undo the fan and you can uh, this uh, is left threaded so that direction is to unscrew it and that direction is to screw it in place if you're lucky and you get that loose you can just do this and it will follow along and yeah you can see mine isn't attached at all it moves when you re when you screw this don't use any force at all it's okay just to use hand force This plastic cover comes off with these four bolts. I believe they are 10 millimeter hex bolts from factory, but here they are Phillips screws. And this one comes off, off with this plastic expander, and I believe there should be one here too, but I don't have one. And the fan and this cover comes out quite easily, and that gives you enough access to use a bit of violence on the sensor I had to do this I used the wrench on the underside of the sensor but not too close to the wheel which which this reads magnetic pulses from 
well, this is a copper spoil, uh, copper coil, and the wheel contains magnets, and twisted it until it came loose.